All it takes is just a little change of how you look at things. Today, we're going to talk about step two, perspective. Tony Aragon here from Plan Nirvana. You may not always be able to change what happens to you, but you can change how you look at things, how you react to the situations you're in. Last week, we talked about awareness. And so this week, what we want to do is we want to take that a step further. Once we catch our, our fixed mindset limiting our abilities, what we need to do is take a look at it from a different direction. And that's where perspective comes in. You see, when you sit there and think about, well, I'm not good at this, or I'm going to be a failure. This is so hard, I must not be good at it. Well, what can you do that changes how you look at this? Well, you know, everybody, when they start at something new, needs to put a little bit more effort into it. So while it may be hard now, Later, it will be a little bit better. You'll get great achievement once you put more effort into it. See, it's not about the negative aspect of it, but what can you do to flip that switch to look at it differently, to come at it a different way. So, I had somebody one time tell me that in um, this particular thing, they've been doing it for years, and they just were struggling with learning some new techniques. And they were like, well, I must not be good at this because I've been doing it forever. Well, you know, this was a new technique. This was something brand new to them. And so what I ended up telling them is, so why don't you look at all of the effort that you put in thus far and see if there's any skills or abilities within that that can kind of cross over into the new thing? Well, lo and behold, it didn't take long for this person to get a grasp of that new technique. And all they needed to do was just look at it differently. They were looking at it, well, I must not be good at it because I've been doing it so long. Well, what have you learned all of this time that you can apply to this new situation? You know, a lot of times the fixed persona really keeps us in and a really kind of an unrealistic view of what reality is. You see, a lot of times we're a lot better than we think we are. You see, the fixed mindset persona is meant to keep you safe. And so what you need to do then is, yes, this situation might be difficult, but what can I do that's going to make it better for me? What abilities do I have that I can seek to change? And that's the growth mindset. It's not being stuck in one place. So being aware in our fixed mindset persona, and now we're going to look at it something differently, we start thinking, well, what can we do differently? What about this? What else is going on here that my fixed mindset persona has kicked into gear? You know, once we think about that, what are some other questions we can ask? What is another positive or optimistic or realistic way we can look at this? So once you identify what the fixed mindset persona is telling you, and then you've taken it and you've tried to look at it from another perspective, then rewrite those thoughts. You know, that's where positive affirmation really kind of comes into play. You see, basically what you're trying to do is set yourself up for success. You know, it might be mundane, but isn't transformation what you're looking for? I've provided a worksheet in the description box below to help you dig deeper into going from the fixed mindset, changing your perspective into the growth mindset. Next video, we're going to take both of these steps and we're going to create the action plan. Until then, best wishes.